Noah's Ark is one of the most prominent historical events that Islam, Judaism, and Christianity have accepted. In Quran, the Ark has been referred to as a Safina. Quran reveals that Noah's Ark voyaged at Kufa in central Iraq and sailed to Mecca. It circled the Kaaba and finally traveled to Mount Judi, where the voyage ended. Noah believed in one God and preached Islam. He was the messenger of God who warned people to submit to the Almighty instead of worshipping the idols. He kept preaching for 950 years until he began to get old. O oh my people, worship Allah. You have no deity other than Him. Indeed, I fear for you the punishment of the tremendous day. Only a few people took him seriously, while others would mock him. After years of struggle, he found that people have begun to use evil schemes against the believers. Noah cried in front of God and asked for help. And this is when God ordered him to build a ship, a ship that will save the believers of God from the waters that will destroy the entire being on earth. After receiving a revelation, Noah began to build a ship with rooms for animals and people. The construction of the ark went on for years, and God sent angels to help Noah. The ark was 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. After completion, Noah entered the ship with all the people and animals. Heavy rain began to fall and gradually transformed into a deadly flood. Disbelievers washed up in the waters and perished. Sahih International And it was said, O earth, swallow your water, and O sky, withhold. And the water subsided, and the matter was accomplished, and the ship came to rest on the duty. And it was said, Away with the wrongdoing people. According to Christian and Islamic tradition, after months, the water receded, and the ark landed on the duty. Noah's legacy was continued by his three sons. Just believe in God, and even the most brutal enemies won't be able to defeat you.